Kirk is from Iloilo, while Ken grew up in Quezon City. Both came from a family who managed their own businesses. Kaya naman, sa murang edad ay namulat na sila sa mundo ng pagnanegosyo and they both experienced being a businessman at a very young age. My family has a family business in the province. So I was at an early age uh, really exposed to the business. So what happened was they would ask me to to man the store or hardware and then uh, in school I also sold iba-ibang items. I sold santol, smarties, um, atis, Indian mango. So the value of money really was uh, was uh, given to us as something that should be taken care of. I guess it was introduced as something fun. Kaya right now it's also fun because it's never work. My mom and dad has a business also. It's a family business too. Uh, my dad owns a house of praise. So ever since nung bata kami, or bata ako, uh, I've been exposed to business as well. Uh, may time doon na binibenta ako yung mga office mate sa mom ko ng mga chocolate-chocolate, candy, candy, and then uh, I buy from the supermarket and then I get it and then whatever I get, you know, I get to spend it on whatever I want. Even if they come from a well-off family, both struggled working on budget dahil fixed or may set allowance lamang silang hinahawakan habang sila ay nag-aaral pa lang. You can look at it na we come from a business, therefore we can spend. But on the contrary, we come from the business, therefore we're more thrifty. Precisely because we see the value that of it. The, the hard work the hard involved comes in, in in parang earning that money. Ever since a young age, kasi talaga nakikita na namin yung hirap na dinadaan ng parents namin. So, I guess that's a, that's a value talaga that we have. That so, parang it didn't come easy to them, nor did it come easy to us. Therefore, it shouldn't go away easily also. Well, yung pinaka mabigat siguro was if I have a personal thing na gusto mong bilhin, like yeah, right. PlayStation before, or Game Boy before, or sapatos before, or I want to go somewhere, but I don't have the money. Another thing that's challenging about money also is you have friends na you really want to help financially because you know that they, they need financial assistance, but you can't help because you, you yourself, wala ka namang pera. I think, uh, syempre, as ano as a as a guy mainly in shoes and stuff na you have to save up for it I mean, what is champer with the allowance we get but still i think that's a character building naman eh yung sa business kasi namin we started in college so it was pure fun lang talaga and the joy of earning right now what motivates us to further improve the business and to earn some more is because the money that we get there would fund further expansion of business the money that, would, that we get there would fund uh, our own personal lives or our plans for our personal lives. The money that we get there would fund our people's Actually, lives also. This time, I think that's a big motivation because we see the impact that we have in our, in our staff, in our employees. In their junior year in college, an opportunity came when their school organized an entrepreneurial challenge. Hindi nila inaasahan na magbubukas ito na mas malaking pinto para sa kanilang dalawa. We did a bazaar na yung capital namin was only 5,500 pesos each. So in that bazaar, which ran for 4 or 5 days, after that bazaar, our net income was around 13. We didn't win that leg, pero nakita namin yung potential niya. Parang, okay, okay ito ah. Parang mabenta dito yung shirts ah. And it's yeah, and it started from there. And then said, why not make our own? Yung nangyari doon, we had so much fun doing that business. And to the point that we started writing different organizations in college. And then the opportunity came for us to do school shirts. Both graduated with a degree of Bachelor in Science in Marketing. After college, mas lumawak pa ang kanilang negosyo. And afterwards, napabilang na rin dito ang Worship Generation. Last 2013, we were offered by House of Grace if we wanted to grow worship generation. So Ken and I thought na we are in the same industry. We've been promoting school spirit ever since. What can be more what can be a more important message to promote than the message of faith in our in the gospel of Jesus? So one of the challenges, because when we play, we put up our first branch, our standalone branch, uh, it was uh, physically challenging. Siya. Meaning, kasi 
it was December. I think it was December 2013. Yeah. Siyempre, uh, we had problems with siguro the contractors. So we always expect that there's gonna be problems. Pero hindi namin gan expect na ganun ka lala yung problem na to the point that we had to sleep outside the store in the mall para lang ma-open namin siya ng 8 a.m. the next day. Sa amin kasi, ever since first year college, we've been group mates a lot of times. We we're classmates, because we're block mates. And then make, we have several classes together. And most of the time, we have group na rin kami. I think one, yung laging, di ba, may notion na parang if don't go into business with your friends, di ba? Uh, ang, I think what worked for us is we have a very defined role on what we do. He does uh, the brand or the business side, the business side of Worship Gen. I do the product side. The biggest secret also is we don't doubt each other's dedication to the work. We work always under the assumption that each one, both of us, care about the business. And kumbaga, do na build yung trust eh. To make it clear, kaagad, from day one, what you expect from the business. So you have to, right there, you have to write it down talaga in black and white, have it in black and white, what's your share, percentage-wise. Uh, every year, how much percent are you gonna release as your dividends? Even if they do business at a very young age, may naging malaking pagbabago pa rin sa kanilang buhay pinansyal. Now, it became now a conscious effort to save. And saving is best, most effective, we found out, when it's forced. We were introduced to this very simple equation, I think. It's not income less expenses equal savings, but income less savings is equal to expenses. That's what we do all the That's time. That's what we do all the time. I personally look into investment instruments that I could put my money into. I feel more independent financially, no? I don't have to rely on anyone anymore. Money, of course you want to save. But you don't want naman to deprive yourself mm -hmm. of, uh, of the things that you deserve also. So, there's a balance depending on what your priorities are. So, it's not a choice between saving or spending. It's you save and you spend at the same time. And that, can, that is actually... Actually, noble. saving naman is just a habit. Eh. You just have to make it a habit. Na you set aside something na talaga. When you earn something, kung saan mo siya ilalaan, it reveals something kung ano yung pinapahalagahan mo eh. Well, I think up to now, naman, I think it's more of a tool lang to get things uh, that we need. Uh, more than that, kasi mahirap siyang isipin na kailangan siyang necessity. Well, of course, we all need money, no? Pero mahirap siyang isipin ganun, kasi it will always lack. Money is a tool talaga. Money is neutral. Money is uh, that thing that is given to you in order for you to reach a higher goal. It's also a blessing that is given to us. Our main goal right now is to what our what our ano is our brand stands for is to make worship a lifestyle. More than anything, uh, I think that's more of our goal than its financial reward. No. We want to see people wear our shirts because it spreads a very 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 good message. People so, also ask me parang, Uy, or they tell me na, Uy, Kirk, ang dahil mo ng pera. I always tell them na hindi naman, masaya lang sa ginagawa. Then you don't need really to worry so much. You don't really have to be afraid. Yeah. Because what you do day to day is not create yourself for the future. But what you do because you trust that God has a plan for you is you discover each day, one page at a time, one chapter at a time, kung ano yung story na yun. Eh, between creating yourself, which would produce worry, than discovering yourself, which would produce fun and adventure. I think the choice is obvious, di ba? With its 15 branches all over the country, worship generation continues to grow. Moreover, it continues to make a difference today as it spreads the message of faith. Well, I look forward to growing my money further, investing it further. I think I've read somewhere that there's a time in your life when you work for money. There's, just, there's a time in your life when you and your money work for you. The ideal state is when you rest and the money works for you. So, I, I, I'm, I'm following, I strive to follow that storyline. I think I'm looking forward to uh, investing in property. 
Okay. Main reason, I don't know how to spell access dyan. Wala-wala mo. This actually happens a lot to us na may meeting kami and then wala kaming pera. Piso mo, palaguin mo. Piso mo, palaguin mo. Pare pare ha pala tayo guys. Ay, dito sa kanya. Direct it's it's harder for magisa. Those kasi explain it. Right, so value that I know that I've been doing since matata ko. So, or accessory. Ah, okay. Hindi. Okay. Main reason, I don't know how to spell accessory. I think it's a dream of ours to export their products. No, this actually happens a lot to us. Na may meeting kami and then wala kami ng pera. Pareho kami. Nisa na sabi kami na twenty pesos naman. Kasi kung may laman, may gawas sa sinka. Wait, baka meron. May, may nakaipit dito eh. Shoot, wala rin. Ako, oh, mine is, may, may konting cash. Nakawithdraw ko lang kasi. But I only withdraw, sobrang malit lang. I think around 2,000 or 3,000 at the time. If you go, I don't want to spare the card. I have three here, I think. Uh, one for the office and big personal. Then, I have this. <laughs> uh, SM Advantage. Robinson's reward. We saved two of the big ones. Wilcon, kasi yung mga stores na yung mga light fixtures and everything ako yung mundo nino so madami ang ganito. Nasa mga unique sa wala. Me, may nakaibit pala limang daan sa tito nila kaya ito. Nagibit kasi ako pera kasi sa yung feeling na alam mo lang ako pera kasi meron pa na kaya tama niya mo alam mo meron din. Kung parang pag advance yung watch, uff, mas onsin na ako pa. I guess one ano din sa mga yung mga sibo. Madat madalas. Meron. Starbucks card. Ah, pag nagumihi na resibo para sa kumpanya, yung OR. Petron card, ATM. And of course, mga GCs. Calling card. So this shirt is our symbol of success because a t-shirt, it's a very ordinary thing but we get from the shirt kasi a sense of security because we wear it in our business parang this in a way give us uh, fun and enjoyment in what we do. At the same time, if you look at our shirt and our shirt designs, it is a, a medium for expression of the things that gusto natin, the things that we hold dear, the things that we believe. And here in Worship Gen, we use our merchandise, specifically our t-shirt, to make worship a lifestyle, to express our faith in God and in the process we hope that through our merchandise and through our shirt, we evangelize others. So this shirt is our symbol of success.
Our featured young entrepreneurs today are definitely a source of inspiration to the younger generation in pursuing their passion through business wherein they can make a difference and at the same time letting money work for them. That's all for now mga kaibigan. Tumutok ulit next week para sa panibagong istoryang pinansyal. Dito pa rin sa Peaceabilities My Money Story. Ako si Francisco Colaico. Laging nagpapaalala na ang pisong pinaghirapan mo, palaguin mo! Walang mangyayari kung manonood ka lang. Tawag ka o text mo kami o i-click mo ito. 